Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. This channel is all about making oneself better in regards to mentally, physically, sexually, and financially. That's usually the areas I try to focus on. So today I wanted to create a video in regards to foods and or drinks to avoid 10 areas really of food and drink to avoid to promote great sex. So number one is vegetable oils. Vegetable oils are usually in processed foods and that can be a variety of oils, sunflower oils, soy oils, canola oils, various different types of oils. Now I do consume a little bit of oil such as organic coconut oil, maybe about a tablespoon a day, and a little bit of organic extra virgin olive oil is okay as well but go light on both of those especially the the processed vegetable oils it's it's sort of like sludge in our digestive tract our bodies have a, a very hard time if if they can at all to digest it's even better to digest sugar than it is oil our bodies can metabolize sugar, cannot metabolize oil. Something to think about. Also, soy and corn. Soy is loaded with phytoestrogens. Nowadays, we have to look at the ingredient list on everything that we buy, and they put soy as a filler in nearly everything. It's very difficult to find products today without soy, so that's a biggie. Corn also is, is not so good. The majority of corn is GMO. Very bad for us. Not a whole lot of nutrients in corn either. It's a, it's a great addition, especially color-wise, to large feasts, but it just doesn't do a lot for us, so might as well just cut that out. Number three is fast food. Fast food in general, they make it super delicious from the, the various trans fats and the horrible filler salts that they add in, MSGs and such. They make it fast, usually cheap, and it's the worst types of foods for our body. Fast food companies are in business to make money. They are in business for profit. And every time you go through a drive through you are harming your mind and body, very much so. A lot of times the foods I mean, we can leave fast foods sitting in the parking lot and birds and insects don't even, don't even approach it. Think about McDonald's french fries that happen to fall under your vehicle's seat and months later, they're still there and they still look the exact same. They don't smell, they don't start rotting, don't have insects on them. So, it, especially overall, not just the fast food, but foods overall, before we buy them, we need to think about this. One, will it rot if I don't eat it quickly? And two, will bugs or other animals try to eat it if left outside? If the answer is no to one or both of those, we probably shouldn't be eating it because if bugs and other animals don't want it, why would we want to put such a thing in our bodies? Something to really think about. And overall, it's best to go organic with everything. With the chemicals and other pesticides that they're putting on foods today, just try to spend the extra money and go organic. At the end of the day, if, if it was just some type of marketing racket and there was no real benefit, at least we can say we did our part. We did all we could do at the end of the day. Overall, processed foods in general, for number five, the center of a grocery store is usually all processed foods. We want to try to avoid those at all possible. The power perimeter of a grocery store is where the fresh foods are, the produce, the meats, seafood sections, dairy. Those are the foods that rot, bugs and animals will eat. It's fresh foods. Those are the foods we need to be putting in our bodies, not what's in the middle, such as a bag of chips or a box of Pop-Tarts.
I know it's delicious and I know it's comforting, but it is harming us significantly. Oftentimes, we just don't notice it in the short term. It's when we're 30, 40, 50 years down the road is when, hey, what happened? Well, we didn't notice it on day to day, but eventually it catches up. Seven is overall sugar or artificial sweeteners. Sugar is really like a corrosive in our bodies. It really is. Cancers feed and other illnesses feed on sugar. That is their fuel of choice. So we need to cut our sugars as much as possible. More especially over natural sugars to cut artificial sugars. They are worse than real sugar. Alternatives, there are organic stevia leaf extract companies out there. Check those out as far as a uh, healthy alternative. Eight, next, or eight, is gluten. Even if we do not have celiac disease, gluten is something that's in most bread and wheat products. Our bodies have a harder time breaking it down and digesting it. So, in all cases, it's best to go gluten-free. In regards to breads, there are certain ways to bake breads. I think more so in the sourdough areas where gluten can be removed in that process. So, I mean, there's alternative bread types if we don't want to stop eating bread. Next is flax seeds. Flax seeds. Now, flax seeds have good fats in them. That's true. But flax seeds are loaded with phytoestrogens. What phytoestrogens do is keep testosterone from doing what it's supposed to do. There have been studies shown that flax seeds can lower testosterone as much as 50%. As much as 50%. Think about that. And a lot of times they want to add flax seeds into nearly everything. So it goes back to look at the ingredient list of everything that you buy. Look for flax seeds, look for soy. A lot of times they throw both in. And 10 is restaurant foods overall. Now, in regards to the social aspect of eating out, even nice sit down restaurants, that's important. Having that social experience with our friends and family is important. However, be very careful with the options you choose on the menu. Maybe have a small meal before you go to the restaurant so you can eat something light at the restaurant. So you are still partaking in the social aspect and enjoying yourself. But at the same time, you're not consuming large amounts of the restaurant foods. The restaurant is in business for profit to make money. They buy their foods from distributors. And most always, even the high-end restaurants loaded with preservatives, bad salts, filler salts, and too much salt in general, and, and various other bad things. So a list of 10 here to think about of foods and other products to avoid to attain a great sex life. Comment down below, tap the subscribe button, tap the like button if you don't mind. Let's start a conversation on this. Any other ideas on foods to avoid for great sex? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.